Hey you guys, so we are on to our next project and it is a cool one. We are talking all about perspective and maybe you've done a perspective drawing before. Um, but I'm hoping that this one's a little different, a little different type of perspective. Um, a lot of times you'll see them more from front views or bird's eye view, but this one, we're going to pretend that we're walking through a big city with skyscrapers and cool, enormous buildings, and we're looking up to the sky at them. And what does that look like? What is that perspective like? So you can see a wide array of like some different examples over here. Um, as you're looking at them, I want you to notice that you have the option to keep it black and white. You can add in shading. Um, you can use your Sharpie to kind of make things pop a little bit more. You can color them in. Um, you can, like the second one in on the top there, you could have it where it's actually got like signs going on and advertisements as if you're like walking through Times Square. So really you can keep it a little more simple like this one. You can make it really fun like that second one. You can go really complex like this first one here and the second one over. Um, it's going to be up to you. Um, as long as we're, we're showing that we are understanding the idea of perspective, um, that's what we're going for here. So anyway, um, let's get started with like how exactly, how, how do we make this happen? How do we do this, right? So um, going up to our instructions then, um, basically our first step is we're, we're going to have a point somewhere center-ish of your paper, okay? Notice I say center-ish because it does not need to be smack dab in the middle of your paper. In fact, I kind of like it when it's a little off center a bit, but we got it somewhere kind of in the center-ish. So let me transition. So for mine, I kind of went blah, 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 boop, and there's mine. So you can see it's not perfectly center, right? Perfectly center would be somewhere more maybe like that, um, but mine's slightly off center. So for today, um, we are going to be um, just trying to get some basic outlines of some of the buildings. Like really, as long as you get like maybe two, three buildings in here, that's good. Um, I want you guys to draw so lightly that I can barely see it on camera. Like, I don't know. Can you guys see that line there? Probably not well. Maybe you kind of can. Um, that's how lightly I want you to draw because we are going to be erasing quite a bit with this project. Okay, and we don't want to see those ghost lines. So try to draw very, very lightly. And a tip for that is to hold your pencil way back here because then it's going to barely touch that surface of the paper so you barely see the line. Whereas if you're holding your pencil here, it's automatically going to make that line darker. Um, and then it's, you know, when you erase it, you are going to see some ghost lines, which is not ideal for this project. Um, I'm going to be drawing darker, like you guys can kind of see here because otherwise you can't see what I'm doing on the camera and that would defeat the whole purpose of making a video. So anyway, here's what I'm going to do. I'm taking my straight edge um, and I am going to have it connect from the center point. So here's that center point. It's always going to connect there, okay? Um, so I'm going to start it there and then I'm going to bring it so that it connects to the edge of the paper. You can see mine's just a little short, so I'm going to need to play around with that a bit, move my ruler, but for now, it's okay. Um, so once again, I'm going to draw mine a little darker, just so you guys can see it. Mine is going to have ghost lines. Try not to let it move. You can see mine wiggle a little bit there. And i got to make it connect all the way to the edge. There we go. So there's that first line. And then the next line, once again, it's always going to connect up here. Um, but I'm just going to move it over, like this is what it looked like before. I'm going to move it over maybe like an inch, two inches, however far, however like wide I want that building to be basically. Um, and then I'm going to draw a line again. So here we go. And move it down just so I can finish it. If you have a longer straight edge, that would be better. Anyway, so now I've got basically a real long skinny triangle, don't I? Um, and I don't want it to be a long skinny triangle. I want it to look like a building. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to bring down um, the, the ceiling of it, the roof I should say, because we're on the outside. Um, and I'm going to bring it down and just kind of flatten it out. And this is where, this is going to look kind of like an A, right? This is where we want to be drawing so lightly because now I need to erase all of this. 
We don't want to have it going all the way to the center point. It's just supposed to be a skyscraper that is, you know, getting up towards that sky, but not. we don't want them all touching in the middle. Not for this project anyway. So you can start to see how my buildings are starting to kind of come around the edges. Um, for this one here, the three-tiered one, what I did was I took and I drew the lines down like that for the base and drew across like that. Then, and obviously I erased up here. Then I kind of came in just ever so slightly and I did those lines again, still using that center point. And then I made the, um, the roof line there, erased everything on up. And then again, I brought it in just ever so slightly and went up and brought it in ever so slightly and went up and gave it actually my roof lines a little crooked on that one but that's okay we can always touch that up a little bit later um, and then raced all the way up so um that's how to do a three-tier one i'm not going to go much more in depth on any of the like how to do corners how to do windows and doors we're going to just get the basics down for today okay so these are the basics that's what you need to know. Um, so try to get a few buildings in there. I would say at least two or three, but if you can get a few more, fantastic. Make sure to vary the heights, like some shorter, some smaller, some wider, some thinner. Because really, when you walk downtown in a big city, they're not all like the exact same. So we want to have some variety in there. Um, so have fun with this. And we will talk more about all the details tomorrow. Remember, draw lightly. We are going to be doing so much erasing, so have that eraser ready as well. All right, guys, have fun. We'll see you tomorrow.